Hello all and welcome back to High Ridge Farm with me, the Walrus. We're now finishing off our very first week in winter here at High Ridge Farm and I do apologize for the reasonably long delay between my last video and this one. Whilst I have also been recording my pub quiz videos that have been taking up a lot of my time of late, I also was actually on holiday in the Netherlands in a beautiful city called Leiden um, for about a week and a half. So I did... Um, essentially managed to screw up any kind of recording that I wanted to do by um, just not being anywhere near my computer or in any capability of doing anything. So, the joys. But anyway, we're back in winter, we're back in year day five of year two. Of course, this being my attempt to perfection run, so I do need to get through year two at least. We will soon see how well that goes. We've got a lot of other things that we still need to do and still need to achieve. We've got the cakewalk as well, which apparently is on any day that it's sunny. So I guess today's considered sunny. Maybe. I'll, I'll give it a go. Either today or tomorrow, depending on the weather report. Um, I'll grab that chocolate cake and give it a go because going into town. But I do really need to level up some of the other residences' uh, friendship levels at the moment as a few of them do kind of need to be given some gifts. So we'll see how well that goes. So let's just quickly go down here and sort out the animals. One of the other things I've also been considering at the moment is actually reorganizing how I lay out the animal enclosure. Now, the way I've laid it out at the moment, it sort of seems to make sense. But of course, the problem I've got is that I don't think I'm going to be able to grow enough grass constantly in the animal feeding area. So I'm Debating whether I extend the fenced area to actually allow me to have more land for them to work on. Part of me is like going, yeah, but I need to give them room to roam and have a good life, even though they are digital animals. This is why I have problems when I play Minecraft, because I end up making like enormous pens for like two sheep. And um, then I look at my brother who, when he's playing it, and he just goes, oh, you know, it'd be really good. I've got 80 sheep in this three by three block. What you gonna do about it? There, there. And uh, yeah, I'm just not as keen on the animal squashing. However, I do also need to try and organize a lot more of the shipping. So I need to ship out some mead. I've got that caviar there that needs shipping. Uh, looks like small goat's milk. So I might need to get another goat. Failing that, um, well, actually, that's probably the best plan, isn't it? Trying to get some goat's milk on that one. But I want to try and ship out everything because, shockingly enough, that's kind of important. Now, there are two more artifacts, and I've got to get one of those lost discs and that mask. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure out where's going to be the best place, really, to try to find those. Not the end of the world, but it's going to be a, a need to find it. And that's kind of the big thing. I need to figure out where I can get them. And, uh, yeah, the sooner I can get them, well, the better, because I'd like to get them by the end of the year. That would be really nice. So, you know. Okay, so let's go and have a very quick look at what's available at the... Well, from the Gotoro Empire, from our lovely smuggling gypsy caravan. And see what she's got for sale. I would still really like to be able to like have a hat like that for my pigs. Like, I'd love to be able to put hats on the animals, other than the horse. Because I think that'd be quite fun. Be a good place to just keep them, really. Because I've got obviously a few bits of clothing and such, but oh well. It is a shame. Right, let's see. Okay, so I'm just gonna smash this open. I do also really need to go and see Rasmodius, so he needs obviously um some more miscellaneous. Okay, I have a hand axe. Well, that can go right in the bin because I definitely don't need that, which, you know, kind of helpful. Uh, what else do I not need? Um, well, let's go and see Rasmodius anyway. Hand over some stuff. So we've got this iridium bar for him. Happy birthday. And you were married long ago. Um, yeah. Yeah. Such a terrible shame, Mr. Wizard. You are definitely still hung up on your wife, though. Um, which, you know, some, is certainly a thing. 
Now, so Haley is doing the cakewalk. That's going to be the fun bit here, isn't it? It's one of those strange things, like obviously having um, not actually seen what the cakewalk actually entails as yet, I'm still trying to figure out, like, is that a common thing? Like, I know bake sales are a thing, definitely here in the UK. But is a cakewalk a particularly clever thing? Is it like a, an American thing? Or is it something that from somewhere else in the UK that I've just never noticed? Or is it something complete nonsense and made up for this game entirely? Well, let's find out because I'm going to take a chocolate cake into the center of town. Oh yeah. After I stash some of these uh, unimportant seedy things that I don't need. Oh, I managed to didn't realize I had another chocolate cake there. I do really need to organize these chests. Maybe that's something that I could do again during this time of year, is actually trying to organize more of the storage solutions that I have in the, uh, in the, in the, uh, on the farm itself. Um, let's see if any of these artifact spots will actually give me what I need. I, I guess that's the other thing is like, I know that the ring is kind of a hard one to get, but I could have sworn I've already had it. Unless there are two ring-shaped ones. I mean, that's certainly a possibility that there are more than one um, ring-shaped dooberies. Okay, anyway, so here we have our cakewalk. Quite literally a cakewalk. I'm somewhat confused. Okay, right, so it's a good turnout. Yeah, but the whole village is here because everyone who lives here is here. Um, yeah. Okay, so she literally just got them everyone walking in a circle. She's been a bit ditzy and forgotten. Okay, everyone's on a square. So let's see. Okay, so it's actually a random, like, allocation of cake. That's kind of cute. So, Caroline, where are you? Ah, carrot cake. Uh, apparently nobody likes that. Um, oh my goodness. Alco cake. Sounds fun, though. What else have we got? So, Jazz, we've got Clint's Wild Horseradish Cobbler. That sounds really bizarre. Like, horseradish in a cobbler. What? Oh, my goodness. That sounds horrific. Yeah, just a poor mother there again. Like, oh, no. Oh, red velvet. So, and... Pam wins the chocolate cake I have made. Cool. It's five that wow, okay, that's quite cute. I mean Haha, ha, George. Okay what? It's for Penny. Why is it Okay, that's adorable. Like okay, I'm gonna <laughs> definitely highlight the, the character development of Haley there. Just the fact that she actually listened, just like randomly heard about was listening to the fact that Penny was struck saying that the school like obviously they don't have a school but the ability for her to actually teach the kids is really hampered by the lack of textbooks and that's like that's really cute I oh man that's no oh, that's heartwarming especially because like, and, and when I first met Haley like for the very first playthrough I was like ugh she's literally the stereotype prep girl who is like the awful one in a silly teenage movie that like ugh, who wants them but actually that's really cute that makes me quite happy okay so we're gonna grab this artifact spot here and some more seeds again meh uh, so things that I know I need to try to do is I'm gonna have to go to the desert again because I need to get that golden mask and I know that only appears in the uh, the desert um, it's just the rest of the things that is that red disc thing that's the annoying one for me I mean I think it's that one I have to double check anyway right so Next plan as well, I need to go and murder a bunch of bats by the sounds of things. Being that it's Friday though, before we do that, we're going to go and visit Krobus. We're going to buy ourselves another Iridium Sprinkler because they will be useful at some point in the world. Because when am I not going to need more Iridium Sprinklers? Plus, I also need the Solar and Void Essence for making more of those lovely bombs. 
So that's the big thing for me there, but we'll see. So, what now? Where's my horse gone? Oh yeah, I parked it behind the tree, didn't I? Come on, let's go. Quite enjoy the ridiculous skull mask. It looks absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I got stuck there. That's good. Right, so off we trot. Let's, um, as you can tell, I'm failing miserably at even steering a horse around. I'm just so good at this game. I really am. <laughs> Genuinely, the question of how on earth do I not fall down more is a, a question that should be commonly asked. Okay, so we've got a few hours before end of day. So I need to find areas that have got high bat spawning. And I know they appear everywhere in the mines, but there are certain floors that I know they're a bit more common on. And I think it's these shadowy ones. Because I think also you can end up with just waves of bats randomly if you're hanging around too long enough. Oh, goodness, I've shadowy creatures. Yeah, they're annoying. But I also should probably check and see what other things that I need to kill for uh, the Monster Hunter quests. Because, again, I need to do all of those. Otherwise, well, I'm not going to achieve perfection. So that could be fun. Um, I mean, I've got the Slime Charmer rings. So that was a lot of slimes dead. So nothing else should be a real real hassle after that, I don't think. But we'll see. Oh, there's another shadowy doodad. Go away. And there's the stairs down. So let's head on down. Okay. Oh, another one. That's dead. Thankfully, though, it's not like they can really do that much damage to me. Unfortunately, again, I'm not seeing that much in the way of bats. I could have sworn they had a higher spawn rate in the dark shadowy bits like this, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just making it all up as I go along. And again, that's a general rule of thumb with me. I will just try and fudge my way through stuff and see how well it goes. As we can see, it's not done terribly, but it's not done amazingly yet for me. But we'll see. Okay, so... We'll go and smash up some rocks. We've got another bug thing that needs to die. There we go. Kill things. Kill things. Murder things. Smash up some rocks. You know, it, it's just generally how how one goes as a as a mad farmer. Because you know that's entirely what you want to do, isn't it? Anyway, uh, let's see. So I'm going to go and smash up some more rocks. That's easy enough. I wonder what else I can find around here, because that, that would be the big thing, is um, if I can find any useful materials. Okay, so I've achieved a uh, monster slaying quest thing, so I do actually need to go and see Gil anyway now, so that's kind of cool. Again, do kind of want to see what else I can actually achieve whilst wandering around in here. Because again, I would quite like to get some more useful gubbins, as well as murder a lot of bats. Okay. I think I'm probably going to have to come back here to do it again. I don't think it's going to go so well if I try and do it all in one night, because I just don't have quite the um, capability of doing so, I think, is probably the best way of sort of thinking about it. Um, I just don't have enough not that I don't have the, the, the fab. It's the more that's the time pressure. Energy's not a problem. And I can easily clear out space with the bombs if I want. But that's the big thing. Is I only I only have a certain capability of actually doing stuff because I don't have enough space. Uh, and time. Okay, so we're in the frosty bits. So... Ah, dust spikes. Now, I do need to kill a lot more of them because I really need um, to get their special, what's it called, ring that you get, um, which gives you a greater chance of monster drops. So, let's go and stab these horrible things up. Excellent. So, we've killed quite a few of them. Oh, there was a bat flying in. Drat it. Dratity drat. Okay, I should have actually looked at that. Um, okay, so... Meh. I'll figure that out. Right, so we'll drink that cola. I uh, got another frozen geode. Geodes are useful, because that's kind of 
handy. Kind of what I need. Um, hmm. Well, off we go. Let's keep going on downstairs. We'll have lots of fun smashing up stuff. Go murder these things. What else are we going to do? Well, that's the thing. So, one of the other things that I'd have been thinking about as well with this Stargy Valley, rather than just narrating nonsense like I have just been doing there, um, I don't. I certainly enjoy just rambling about what's going on with life, the universe, and everything. It's kind of a. I'm not saying it's like a live stream, but there are very few times that I cut anything out of the footage. Um, it's usually when I've screwed up on something more than anything that it's likely I've um, managed to just mess up. Like, if something goes wrong, like uh, at one point where I accidentally put a bomb down in front of um, the kegs, which that did not go well. And uh, yeah, that wasn't great. So I just restarted the entire day. Uh, but there haven't been many times that I've actually had to delete anything. It was only when I was doing like the very early videos where I was doing a lot of very boring stuff, like the fishing, which just seemed to be doing the same nonsense every day and very dull. But anyway, I'm more than happy to just random, ramble nonsense. Um, but again, if people have any ideas on random stuff they'd like me to start chatting about, I think that's the thing that I should probably start doing, is if I look at doing live streams, which are probably going to be coming now that I have a much more dependable work schedule, in that Saturdays and Sundays are now a completely free day for myself, for both of them. So what I'm planning on doing, theoretically, is using Saturdays as a streaming day, so I'll either play Stargy with some friends or I'll play some Graveyard Keeper and like reshoot some footage from that for what I'm planning on doing for that one. Maybe even some other stuff like I've got things like Diablo 2 that I was streaming a while back um, as well as The Binding of Isaac which is one of the games that I play every day. It's uh, a game that I love to bits. I've just never bothered recording it because it, I don't think it would quite fit the slightly more peaceful side of this, but at the same time Peglin's a little bit more aggressive, so maybe I'll, I'll just put them on there, so if I put them in separate playlists, people have got their choices on that one. But that's something that I'm actually looking at doing, is that maybe Saturday afternoons doing a, a live stream on that one, but again, I also am painfully aware that being a UK based streamer and a lot of the internet being American, I'm five hours ahead of New York um, let alone other parts of the United States, such as uh, ooh, it's Chicago, for example, which I know is six hours behind because that runs on Central Time. But we'll see. We'll see on that one. Um, that's a, a future goal for myself. And the thing is, I've been trying to work hard on actually making sure I can have a decent, reliable schedule so that I make it easier on myself if I want to do recording, if I want to do gaming with people. Um, because I do end up doing a few live stream stuff on webcam with uh, a really good friend of mine, uh, La Leon Cosplay, where she does, um, she pulls me in every now and again when she's doing a D&D &D session or like one of another tabletop session where she hasn't um she either needs me to come in and play a character to help her within the storyline um she's pulled me in on occasion to actually help pr guide players in a, a good direction she said to me that they're, they're kind of new they don't really know what they're looking for and they'd they were a, like a couple of maybe a session or two behind where she kind of expected them to be and you know having an experienced dm um gm whichever I think a GM is probably a better sounding one. A games Master rather than Dungeon Master. Because not every single one that I've played with her is a combat orientated one. So, But yeah, it's, a, it's probably good to have somebody who knows a lot about tabletop side of things. Ranging from the wargaming through to Dungeons and Dragons to actually uh, guide players on if they need a little nudge in the right direction, shall we say. So yeah, I've done that a couple of times. And it's been really good fun to actually do that. Um, doing that live streaming and she and I have also done some other like tabletop uh, board games on Board Game Arena 
and that's another thing that I would like to go forwards that if if the Patreon idea does all right, and actually I start getting some Patreon subscribers, actually having like a once a month game night with me doing some tabletop games, like, because they've got Ticket to Ride on there, and that's a personal big favorite. It's just a shame they only have the US map, um, especially since that I'm very much used to the European map. So the strategy is surprisingly slightly different. It's a different layout, the routes are very different. Um, you know, it's. It, also, I know where more things are in Europe than I do where they are in the United States. Which is bad, considering I lived in the US for a couple of years. I should know where some... I know where some stuff is, predominantly in the, uh, in the East Coast sort of area. Now, okay, so we're going to head to bed and head into day six of winter. So, the Saturday itself. Right, so we made a little bit of money. Again, money's not the big super drive on this one, but I'm still trying to earn enough money so I can buy the very important obelisks because they will make my life so much easier. Especially the desert one. That's going to be the real one that I'm saving up for the most. I also know that's the most expensive one. But the desert obelisk will mean that I could just get up straight in the morning and just teleport right to the damn desert and not have to worry about Pam getting up, which means I can just do stuff without having to worry about it, which is more what I'm after. Because, you know, I, I need to try and be nicer to Pam. Because, bless her, she does try. Okay, thank you, Masrodius, for giving me a frozen tear in return for a Iridium bar. Thanks. Absolute champion work there, Asmodeus. Ugh. But then again, what can I say? Is an old man who lives in a wizarding tower all by himself being a bit odd. Along with the hilarious fan theory that actually he's Abigail's father. Which, you know, that's a fun one. Anyway, let's have a look and see where we're going to go now. So it's only it's just about to go 7am. And let's go and prepare what we have. Probably should try and make sure we've got some stuff going. So of course I've got like the some of the wild seeds that I've planted, which is nice, and that's all good. And yeah, that's kind of helpful, I guess. Um, I'm not expecting much, but I might end up with something kind of handy soon enough. Righty, so let's grab all these star fruits. Again, that's something I've never actually eaten, so I might not actually have to try and get that because that'd be kind of cool. And yeah, let's see. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, well, we're going to get a lot more fruit, so I'm going to plant a load more here, which is good. And that's the other thing, though, is. I'm slowly but surely getting more ancient fruit. I do want to have a bit where it's just pure ancient fruit in here. That's my my big aim in here. Whether well, how well that works, different question. Don't really know. Um, but we'll see. Hmm. Let's put all this in here. So we've got a lot of star fruit still going. That's nice. And yeah. That's kind of handy. Having um, the star fruit everywhere is really nice. And it's going to make me some valuable crops. The trouble will be is comparatively, ancient fruit does take a long time to grow. But it, theory, I think it gives you a harvest once every week. So in theory, it's almost akin to having a seven day growth cycle, which again, kind of good. That's kind of what we need. But we'll see. See how well we earn. And that's kind of what we need, isn't it? It's um, just making more money. Making more wine. Making more good wine. And, yeah. That's really the big thing. I want to be able to have lots of money. Um, and most of it is coming from the wine. Because that's really my... Uh, my big jam, more than anything. I am the alcohol vendor, and I am making all of the 
All of the mead and all of the wine and all of the beer. Hurrah. Right, let's have a look at the animals and see what they've done today. Um, well, I'm drinking some of the coffee to get a bit more of a speed boost. Again, speed boosts are useful. The game with the lucky, uh, the spicy eel to give me again a speed boost. And again, just generally zipping around a lot faster. That's kind of what I need though, is just to make sure that I can dart around this damn farm, getting everything sorted. And again, it's a shame I've only got large goat's milk. I need a small goat's milk, so I do probably need to get another goat. I haven't got two, so maybe that's something I should purchase later. Um, I'm going to have to visit Marnie. Whether she's actually at work is a very different question, because that woman has some uh, interesting work ethics. You know, I'm open every day, except whenever I don't feel like being open seems to be her mantra. Um, which again, uh, Everyone has their own choice on how they work, but that's uh, a little bit ridiculous. Right, so we're going to go and fling all of these mayonnaises into the vending box and then sort out the next egg processor. Didn't mean to go back in there, that was silly. Oh, whoops, there we go. See. Didn't, again, although the animals aren't going to come out during the winter, that was a... I want to keep it open for them, just in case they wanted to. It doesn't make sense in real life, but hey, it made sense to my brain. I'm a dumbass. I think it's the short answer to it. Right, anyway, so we're going to slap these eggs into the processors. Turn them into mayonnaise. Okay, so we've got that. We've got this one. I've got so many little baby dinosaurs. I love it. And we've got a duck egg as well. Sorry, duck egg, sorry, duck feather. Again, that's kind of valuable. High, like, all about the high value selling stuff. That's my main aim, is I want to make money... Give me the cash monies, and there's my lovely blue hen. And we'll go and fling this white egg. Now, I think I've already process sold a small white egg, so I will go and turn it into mayonnaise. Right. Let's head on out then. Okay, so that's the animals dealt with for now. So, back up. Let's just double check. What is the hay storage pile? Okay, 599. That's not too bad. That's still enough, methinks. Um... I built a few silos. I've got three of them. I think that's that gives you seven twenty. So they're two forty each. So it gives me enough to last throughout a winter season. That's kind of um, what I was aiming for as a thing, like to be able to just not have to worry about it, because that makes life a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to organise all of the fruit and veg. And uh, let's sort all this out. Uh, come on. Now, as you can see, I've got a lot of bottles to sort out. And uh, that's a lot of alcohol to sell. But, of course, that's a lot of alcohol to replenish. So I think I'm going to have to do a lot of extra things. Okay, so what's these? We've got cherry wines. We've got pumpkin juices. Got lots of cherry wine, to be fair. Let's have a look. Uh, pumpkins. I might as well make beer, to be fair, as well. Because the I've got so much wheat lying around. But again, pumpkin juice is valuable. And that's kind of what I'm after, is just value. So, I'll slap all these in here. There we go. Lovely. We've got enough to do maybe a few more of those. And then, yeah, we're going to have to go and grab something else. So loads and loads of cherry wine. I didn't realize I had quite so many cherries when I uh, set them all going. Okay, so what do we want? Yeah, might as well just do some beer quickly. Because I think beer takes only three or four days to make. So it's a quick turnaround. So I could probably get through a lot of it. Again, it's not the most valuable, neither is wheat on its own, but it's it's more valuable than wheat. So, it's the thing is, but I wouldn't bother aging it. I think that's the big thing, because it's just expensive to bother doing that with. But that should give us a good amount of money today, which is nice. Sell all that, we don't need these. Right, so, back, ready we go. Trying to figure out what other things that I kind of want to, or need to do the rest of the day more than anything. 
So we're at 10 past two in the afternoon. We've got, um, let's pull this row away. I've got a bunch of other miscellaneous that I can sell. Now here's the thing, I know I need to sell mead and I know I need to sell caviar. So in goes the mead and in goes the caviar. There we go. Nope. In. Ugh, apparently I have no capability of doing anything. Also, I've not actually been to the cinema yet, so that might be something I need to do. Um, but for now, let's just quickly pop back to town and see if we can get some of these geodes smashed, because that would be very handy to get done. Again, I'm not expecting to get anything particularly useful out of them, but it just would be nice to get it done more than anything. Okay. Uh, smash, 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 la la la. Um, I don't think I need any more minerals. I think I've actually got all of them now for the museum, but I will have to double check. Um, let me have a look. Oh, no, nothing again. Some Baronite fire opals. It's the sort of thing is those gems are nice and all, but there's not much purpose or use for them once you find all of what you need. It'd be kind of cool. I mean, I know you can put them on tables and such. It'd be nice if you could make like a dis if there were display tables in the same way that you maybe even a display rack. So to give you the illusion of, illusion of shelving. Maybe something that even just like it minimizes the picture of them so they can go on a shelving unit. It looks kind of nice. Or even like maybe a mod type thing where you go over to it and it's one of those tables that has the glass top and you can put the gemstones in it. And when you go over to it, you get opened up and there's like almost as if somebody's drawn like a, a noughts and crosses board or a tic tac toe board. So it's divided into nine sections, and each of those you could put a single gemstone in, but the table itself only takes a four by four. So when you go and interact with the table, you look at the table and see what's in it, and that'd be pretty. Maybe something like that. Again, horribly, horribly outside of my field of experience, because I am not a mod developer. Like the only mods that I ever remember even really coming close to doing was when my brother was creating mods that were useful for the both of us playing World of Warcraft um, because yes he was that sort of guy who would just sit there and go right cool well this needs to happen and let's just set this going and yeah he, he wrote a couple of quite good World of Warcraft mods that were very useful for tanks he and I both used them he is his warrior me as my paladin and we joint tanked events together we were quite good and it was, it was a good fun because we played with our cousin as well um, our older cousin and we just had a lot of fun because, well, why wouldn't you? And it's it was nice to be able to play with him, particularly, because it was before he had his kids, so we had a little bit more time to do that. Good grief, that must have been nearly 12 years ago now. Crikey. So that sort of tells you how long ago it's been since I last picked up World of Warcraft, almost. Good lord. Not a terrible thing, though. Considering, yeah. It's not like... Uh, not a particularly great game these days, methinks, these days. Um, it's been very, very dull. But at the same time, getting out of playing those sorts of games is probably a good thing. As, yeah, I don't have to worry about it. Um, like it, it, The amount of time I genuinely lost playing World of Warcraft was horrifying. <laughs> So, you know, that was a thing. Okay, so let's um, keep on going. So we've got a load of gemstone type things. We're going to go and sell those. We don't really need. Um, so let's just sell all of them because, again, not useful. Okay, let's look see what next. So I'm going to head on back to the mines with things because I want to smash up some more bats because they need to die and that's kind of important. And uh, then I will essentially have that all sorted out. 
But alas, right. Um, so I've got a lot of iridium there as well, so maybe I should do something with the iridium. I can't remember if there's anything that one can do with the ore alone, other than the... Um, oh, what's it called? Uh, the iridium bars themselves. So, eh? Let's see. Let's have a look. Nothing exciting. Well, I'm going to throw that one in here because I don't need that anyway. Um, hmm. So, let's head on over to the mines because it's probably going to be the best place. I still need 20 more bats. Not impossible, but c'est la vie. Righty, so in we go. Let's go speak to Gil and see what we're going to get. Uh, hmm. C'est la vie. Let's have a look and then uh, go with that nonsense. Okay, so into the mines we traipse. So, what floor should we start? I can guess that's kind of the thing that would be... Uh, that's the question, isn't it? Where do we want to go? Uh, well, let's try this floor. So we're into the fiery bits, because I think that would be kind of useful. And uh, again, some more slimes. We've already killed those. We don't care about them. Uh, what else are we going to do? Well, at least we're getting some more hay, which is kind of nice and helpful. As that would mean that I'd be able to do some... Uh, Generally, replenishment means I don't have to worry. Um, anywho, Celery. Um, what next? We'll go and just work our way down because we still need a lot more uh, annoying bats to turn up to be murderized because that's very important. So let's have a look. Um, hmm. Nope. So we've got some more shadowy beastie thingies, so that's annoying more than anything. Well, let's just quickly sort this bit out. Where next? Nope. Smash these down. I'm hoping to get some quick way down if there aren't any bats. And yeah, I don't think that's really going to happen, is there? That's very frustrating. Okay, so no. Oh, a little rock crab. Well, you need to die. As does this slime. Again, don't really care. Uh, let's have a look. Smash these up. Smash these up. Nope, nothing. Oh, goodness, another slime. Again, really rather annoying. Very annoying. Again, it's, I'd like to be able to get down there faster if I can't see, um, what are they called? Uh, more bats, because again, I need to kill them now. We've got this um, hostile influence, like this weird haze, which means monsters are going to spawn and are trying to attack. Now, hopefully, that means that bats will turn up and start being absolute buggers, because they need to appear, there's one, and get stabbed by my blade. Now, I wonder how much patience I've got to actually try waiting around for more of them. Because that'd be kind of nice. Okay, there's another one, and two. Let's give them a stab in. Oh, they've got a lot more health than I was expecting. Oh, okay, so there's only a certain number that actually bother turning up. That's annoying. Ugh. Oh, well. Fine. We'll just go on through, then. Not much else I can do here. Okay. Right. Um. Yeah. Let's keep slicing my way through these. Again, quite useful. I'm going to obtain more in the way of useful gubbins. Again, that's more hay, which is helpful. I do like having that. It does make my life easier. 
Um, let's have a look and see. No. Well, I'm also trying to get the grass hat, because that would be a really nice thing to have. Which, you know, it's a shame that I've not been able to find it, because it's the grass hat and the trash can hat, the two that I really fucking want. So, yeah. Um, 14 more... Uh, Bad. Oh, these things hit hard. I uh, ooh ah oh um yeah. I'm not enjoying this. They are hitting quite hard, like almost like um the damn serpents. So I'm gonna make sure I eat some more spicy eel, get myself health, and um yeah. Right. Well, at least I've restored my health now, which is good, and a little bit of energy. Well, more energy than health, to be fair. So let's slice our way through these. Let's head on down. Lovely stuff. Ah, I've got another one of these sorts of floors. That means, uh, oh no, it doesn't matter. I'll just get out of here. Um, come on. Okay, so that's a squid kid thing. I need to kill that. Okay. Well, again, nothing super exciting here. Not many bats, which again is a shame, because that's really what I'm here to slice through, which is, you know, it's a shame. But, oh well. That's kind of what you expect, isn't it? Nothing much exciting. Oh well. Righty. So, yeah, one of the other things that I... My main aims with this stream, really, are to try to 100% the, the game and get a full perfection run, because I've not actually ever perfectioned this game before. I've played it a few times. I've started up a number of different times. I mean, I'm even playing it on my phone as well, um, because I'm an idiot, and playing far too many copies of the same damn game seems to be the, the best plan of action for me. Uh... Not the greatest decision in the world, I will freely admit, because it means that I'm just doing the same stuff over and over, and sometimes it does mean that I don't actually remember what I've done, or what I'm even doing. I think that's the worst part. Um, so yeah. Really annoying. Because, uh, yeah, I'm genuinely doing the same stuff over and over and over, because I'm thinking, what? What am I doing? I think on the one on my phone, I'm only in year one still. I haven't got married or anything exciting yet. So it's, you know, it's a thing. Um, but yeah. There's not much more on it. Shame, though. Um, hmm. Let's see. Um... Yeah, I still need to work my way through this bit. Come on. I need lots more bats. Um, oh, 13 more of the buggers. That's annoying. But yes, um, because I'm playing a lot of different Stardew Valley games, I need to remember what I'm actually doing a lot of the time when I play it. But at the same time, I, there are a few more games that I've been playing that I would actually really like to um, play on stream um, and also to film as well. So... We'll see how well they that goes as a general thing. The trouble is, some of the other games that I've been playing a lot of recently has been Endless Space, which, again, it's a real-time strategy game, and I'm always a big sucker for real-time strategies. But the problem is, it's not one that I could really stream or share with people because it does take a long time to play, to the t point of a single game of it can and will take me a few days so it gets a little um little ridiculous but that's a thing um just trying to think like one of the other ones I would like quite like to do is a uh, backpack hero as well because that one that kind of looks like a fun game as a, a general sort of game to play, as does Luck Be a Landlord, which again, I quite enjoy the idea of both of those. They make me laugh. They're both different, they're both a bit cute. And yeah, I think, you know, they might be quite good to play um, and put on stream. Maybe even if I just do them for a short 
period of time. And actually see what people enjoy. If people enjoy me actually watching me play them or not. That's the question. But anyway, we're now into Sunday. So we've only got another day left to do things. So... A lot of gubbins to work through. But all that fibre from the last couple of days, from well, yesterday's expedition, which is great because fibre is handy. I need it. I need it lots. Um, something, I'm sure. And it's one of those things that, you know, you grab a resource and you go, I'm going to need this. I'm not sure why, but I'm definitely going to need it. Who knows? Well, one of the other things I have also thought about is actually doing some cooperative streams, uh, cooperative videos of me playing with a couple of friends. So things like Minecraft and actually playing that with people might be quite cute. Um, because, you know, I, I enjoy playing with my friends and I think it'd be quite nice to share that experience with some of my friends uh, of the dumb stuff that we get up to. Because the, something that I will always say is it's nice to play games with other people because they tend to know things that you don't. And like the little tricks and secrety things and you know when everyone's got like cool ideas because the last time I played with my friends when we played Minecraft together which was again 10, 11, 12, a, a number of years ago we essentially recreated um, what's the name? Rapture from Bioshock we made an entire city underwater by hand it's not like we used any cheat codes because uh, we did it on console and uh, we didn't even use any cheat codes. We didn't use any um, crafting abilities or anything like that. We were or creative mode. That's the word. It was. We went in. We had to get sponges, so we had to go and acquire the sponge material from the temples, so that we could actually drain the water out of places or fill it with stuff and then remove it. Or it was a it was a faff, but. It was very cool, because we then made a big underwater city with, like, glass panes all over the place. So it looked really cool, and it was one of those, like, yeah, I like this. Awesome. But, you know, it's the weird and wonderful that, you know, we, we try and do. But I think that would be quite a fun one. Um, but, yeah. Hey-ho. We'll see. Um, but I would like to do some games where I play with other people as well. Because, yeah, again, I'm quite a daft, mad chat. Old and I played some like a lot of first-player shooters with friends. and But the thing is, I don't feel that those are, again, my niche in the way of the way that I play games. So we're going to keep it, trying to keep with the the nice, relaxing sort of playing of games. Same with, like, because Minecraft's pretty relaxing unless you deliberately make it insane. Plus, I'm sure in the, the, mod, uh, the modifications and the options these days, you can actually get some, like, slightly more peaceful nonsense. Uh, we'll see. Righty. Let's keep going. So, let's see. Um... We've organized all of the veg here that we've done there, which is good. And, well, lots and lots of seeds. Kind of a big important thing there. Just making, again, making sure that we get lots and lots of lovely, lovely useful thing. Um, all the wine. All the wine. And very important. Very important stuff. Okay. So, I'm going to make some quality fertilizer. Then we're going to just put all of this away again. That I don't need. That's what we need. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. What else are we going to do? Let's see. No, no, no alcohols, which is a shame. Um, but who knows? We might end up with some more extra random guff sort of being there. And it's the uh, the preserves jars are the next big thing we think. 
kind of what I need next to improve those again. So we're going to head down further into the caves again, and I need to stab the ever-loving heck out of a large quantity of enemies, because there are many that need to die. Ugh, very annoying. Because I do really need to absolutely splatterize a large quantity of those damn bats. But the ghosts are also quite useful. Wouldn't hurt to, for me to get more of them. Um, oh, come on. It's got to be something useful I can get. Well, I say that. It'd be kind of helpful more than anything. As, yeah, I just want to get this done. It's, uh... Yeah. It's the thing I need to get done. <laughs> There's not really much I can say um, other than I need to do this. I need to, you know, detonate all these damn rocks. I need to just get my way through the downstairs. Because I want to get those damn bats killed. And I also want to get stuff done. But, uh... We will indeed see. So it can't be that many more to kill. Hopefully it won't take long. Thankfully though, once it's... I've worked my way through all this, then again, get some more money, get some new stuff, and it's all good. And yeah, that's kind of the handy thing that I need. Is just to make sure I have um, more of these enemies slain. And, again, get more rock. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, because really, I don't think I need any rock for many of the buildings um, outside of the wells and some of the upgrades to the, like, the sheds. So, 11 more. Ugh, we can do it. We can do it. Um, but other than that, I don't think I need them for any of the upgrades to, like, Pam's house. Maybe you need them for the community upgrades to do, like, the shortcuts? Hmm. That's the quest next question is, do I do Pam's house upgrade before I try and get the desert obelisk? And I'm kind of thinking, in selfish terms, I'd rather have the de desert obelisk than pay, was it, half a million for Pam to get a house? Which is absurd. I could buy her one for a hundred. And it's probably bigger than a caravan. And it's, it's absolutely bonkers. Um, in the same way, I could probably uh, buy a shed and turn that into a better house for her. But no, no. We've got to do it the proper way and spend a silly amount of money on Pam. Again, I'm being harsh to her. Because she is, unfortunately, a character I just dislike. It's not like the inherent out... I'm not sure what, what it is about her. I, I still, I, I try and want to figure out what it is I don't like about her. There are certain other characters, like, I have... I'm very indifferent to a lot of them. I find Sebastian a bit meh. But then again, as always having been a bit more of an alternative kid growing up, like... You know, emos didn't exist when I was a kid, a teenager, so that just ages me right there. Um, we had goths, and that was about it. Um, yeah, that whole emo look just oh, does not gel with me. I don't like it. It's, um, you look washed up. But it's, it's fun actually just talking to people about who their favorite Stardew Valley characters are, because I'm like... I can kind of see why you like them, because a lot of the characters, they all have something interesting about them, and it's nice to see how their character develops. Especially with Haley, for example, like I did earlier on this video. Haley's character development is really sweet. There's a lot more to her than I'd ever actually really anticipated. Um, and I'd never taken her to be my wife um, in any of the game's playthroughs that I've ever done, so it was actually really nice to see her get some really lovely character development. We'll see. Who else out there I could sort of see on that one. But, um, yeah, I find Sebastian just 
very meh. A lot of the bachelors are a bit dull to me. I wonder if that's just, maybe it's because I've never really, when I mean, I've played a couple of gay playthroughs and I've played straight playing as a female farmer, but maybe I just don't find them as exciting as characters. Um, Abigail I find quite entertaining. Which is interesting because, of course, she sort of fits that whole... You could pair the characters up because she's kind of the Sebastian pair. They're both the slightly more alternative emo-y kids. But I also am deeply in love with Abigail because she has a guinea pig. And, yes, she just needs all the guinea pig all the time. And uh, I was rereading through one or two of the comments in the past where I haven't talked about my guineas enough recently, which I believe is quite true and quite fair. I do only have the two at the moment, as unfortunately I lost um, my two oldest boys, Nutmeg and Bumble, um, a few months ago. Um, so, um, so they were seven and six and a half when they died. So they, they lived a long, good life, which makes me happy that they'd had a, a good long life with me. But I now have two guinea pigs, Baby Floof, or to give his full name, Floof Monster. But he is baby and very floofy. And he is the squeakiest little attention seeker there is going. Um, he's definitely the favorite of a few of my friends uh, because he is an attention seeker. He will come up and will squeak for all the attention. He loves everybody. So sweet. And he also gives all the kisses. So if you're not really, like, you haven't met a guinea pig before, he's very much the perfect guinea pig to me because he will sit and potato on you and be very happy and then give you all the kisses. You need to get... You'd just be sitting there giving him a stroke and then suddenly... <laughs> and then his hutch mate, Teddy, who is a Teddy, um, little baby Teddy but, um, guinea pig. And he's very small, very sweet and very lovely. He's a lot more shy than his brother and um, tends to hide a lot more. But he's very cuddly. Um, again, one of my friends is definitely his favorite and I'm very jealous um, because Teddy is adorable. I love him. I love them both, to be fair. I love all my guineas. I always have. Um, but... Before I went to the Netherlands, uh, a good friend of mine, she sent me a link to a rescue where she'd got some rats from. And they had three very lovely Abyssinian guinea pigs. So if you know your guinea pig breeds, they said, um, if you don't, they are a the crested kind of fluffy guinea pig look. And uh, I love Abyssinians. Um, I've had quite a few in the past. And yes, I was thinking, oh no, I could totally get all three of them. They are just babies. The three boys who all live together. So it's like, oh, that'd be so cute. But I was going away, so I couldn't justify getting another three guinea pigs. So I'm sort of holding off for now. Because I have my my boys and I love them to bits. And a friend of mine who um, was talking about, like, if ever we had the thing where we live together, well, I, I want guinea pigs and I'll make sure I get boys because then they can all live together. And it was like, oh, that's quite sweet that you're actually thinking about that. <laughs> Very adorable. But, anyway. So, yes. Guinea pig nonsense there. There's a... Uh, so, in a good way, there's no guinea pig news. There's nothing bad going on. They're being adorable and small. That is really all I can say. Um, I haven't got any either of them in their basket next to me at the moment because they do sometimes sit next to me when I'm playing games and doing some of the filming. Um, actually, when I'm doing the recording of the actual episode rather than the audio, sometimes I'll have uh, one of them sat with me just... Or even sometimes, sometimes both. It's rarer to get both of them. Because if they're both out, what will happen is Baby Floof will come over and start squeaking up an absolute storm. Because he's that much of an attention seeker. If you are not giving him enough attention in front of another guinea pig, he will get very grumpy. And the same applies if you start giving another guinea pig more attention in front of him. Again, squeak, squeak, squeak. How dare you? Squeak, 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 you traitor. So, <laughs> they don't both come out at the same time that often. Not unless there are two people here so they can both be cuddled. Because it's very important they need all the cuddles. Hence why, to me, Abigail is bae. She is the bestest because she has a guinea pig. But at the same time, I would love to be able to get a mod that 
adds guinea pigs into the game for you. Because that'd be cute. That would make me happy. So it does look like we're coming up to the end here. So I will bid you all a fond farewell and say thank you very much for tuning in. If you have enjoyed, please do like, share and subscribe with family members, friends, and those you would like to introduce to my madness. Of course, not only do I have the videos here as me as the walrus playing Stargy Valley, there's also the pub quizzes, which you are more than welcome to always participate in doing. And please do leave your scores on those ones because it's kind of nice to see how well people do but any comments are always greatly appreciated on all of my videos and once again I hopefully will catch you all the next time the walrus plays Stardew Valley <laughs>